So today we are going to learn five things about Serbia. And we are joined by... Tamara from Serbia. Hi guys! So, what do you have for me? Okay, so this is the first hint. 115 wars. You had 115 wars in like a hundred years? Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, wars. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, it has this something... This is not very exciting, is it? <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty much the history of Serbia. A lot of wars. <laughs> So we had to, so I had to include that. So it it has to do with the capital, with Belgrade. Belgrade. Oh, so Belgrade has been like invaded 115 times in its history. We're pretty close. Ooh. Um, so it was battled uh, over in 115 wars. Wow. And the fun fact is that it was raised to the ground for uh, 44 times during these wars. And pretty much we were part of that as Hungarians. <laughs> Thanks, so close. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Everything's forgiven. Everything's in the past now. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So the next one. 18 Roman emperors came to invade parts of Serbia? Or... Okay, no. no it's not... Resided in today's Serbia. Well, yeah, they kind of resided in the first months of their lives it's it's they yeah. were born in today's serbia exactly oh, they were wow. born in the territory of serbia which is um interesting since it's the highest number of roman emperors to be born in just one country and it accounts for one fifth of all roman emperors that were that ever lived <laughs> now i'm trying to place serbia on the map to see how it compares to like today's italy is it close at all Close-ish. Ish? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next word. Vampire. Oh, this is exciting. Hmm. You have... Um, your prime minister is said to be a vampire. <laughs> okay. Some may think of it that way, I don't know, but... Um, nope. <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> Well, we don't know what he does in his free time, if that's one of his <laughs> hobbies, let's hope not. Let's find out. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me guess something a bit more, well, realistic, with the vampire is not uh, the right word, I think. Um, I maybe think closer to the one. truth. Um, I don't know, you had some kind of Count Dracula story about a vampire, so... Living in a castle somewhere in the countryside. Okay, yeah, we had a vampire. Um, but can you tell me more? Like, what do you. Mm. As opposed to Dracula. What's his connection to Dracula? Oh, his or... cousin. Vampire buddies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ancestor? Or. Okay. Son? <laughs> okay, that would be exciting to see if that. No, no, it's, it's actually. Uh, Dracula was not the first vampire. People usually assume the vampire comes from Romania, of course. It's the Dracula. But well, it was actually part of Hungary, that part. Keep that in mind. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but the first vampire was actually from Serbia. And his name oh. was Petar Blagojevic. Oh. That's what most people don't know, actually. Um, awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, uh, in fact, the word vampire is the only Serbian word that's um, accepted worldwide used. It, it was derived So this from is a Serbian word? Yeah, vampire. Word, sorry. Yeah. Oh, vampire. Yeah. Please say that the same way. Okay. Okay, what's the next? Okay, it's a tough White one. White Angel Fresco. It's a tough one. It's a famous fresco? Yeah. Painted by a Serbian person? Um, yeah, or well, in a Serbian chapel or church or something. Yeah. Monastery. But I think I have to give you a hint. It it has to do with the um, the breakthrough intercontinental telecommunication event. I am lost. <laughs> okay, this is really telecommunication really event. So the first video transmission between North America and Europe took place in 1963. 
and it had to do something with the fresco. So we c somehow took part in that transmission. Okay, and that's what I have to guess. How? How? <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> yeah. There was a hidden radio device in the fresco? Or wow, like a yeah, budget text mine. <laughs> yeah. I watch 60s movies all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that. They this was the code name of the operation. Uh, no. Yeah, but that that yeah, that's I like that. That makes sense. That. It's, it's interesting actually. Yeah. What you're saying. Okay, I don't really have any more guesses. It's just a video that was that featured. The video featured this fresco. Oh, uh, okay. So they were broadcasting this bit. This, yeah, American exactly. Ah, oh, okay. So you kind of that feel like I a part like of that. Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, event. Okay. okay. Last one. And it would be fun without a bit of politics involved. Yeah, political party elections 2012. It was um, um, a very important election. Yeah. <laughs> because of different views on Serbia's independence. No okay, so well, in 2012 the Democratic Political Party was overthrown, but the fun fact is that, to the best of my knowledge, it's the, Serbia is the country that um, re-elected the party that was overthrown during the revolution. So we took the guy During back. the revolution, okay. That's why we're having it so good. We just don't learn, do we? <laughs> yeah, that sounds awfully familiar, actually. <laughs> so yeah, that's what yeah makes it a fun cool. fact. Yeah, now I know a lot more about Serbia. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, so those were the fun facts you might not have known about Serbia. And um, so was that surprising? Um, come to Serbia to find out more. Köszönjük, hogy megnéztétek a videónkat! Ha esetleg véletlenül még nem láttátok volna a régieket, ide kantítva megnézhetitek őket, vagy ha ez nagyon-nagyon tetszett, akkor lájkoljatok, vagy írjatok valami kommentet, ha van valami hozzászólni valótok, és ne felejtsetek el feliratkozni itt!